Well, it's Wednesday night and we're back from the cafe having dinner with Low Tide Tim. And you know, I had a lot of knives today. Well, coming, going down, I got a call from a lady. Wanted to know could I sharpen up her knives at her home. She said, I'll stick them in my mailbox in a towel. <laughs> I said, okay. Let's see what we got here. I first saw them, I thought they were Chicago Cutleries, but I got a feeling that they're not. Now this is a Wustoff. A little para. This one says Japan on it. This one says Japan. This one says Japan. That's all I can tell you. That has something on the handle, but you can't make it out. Maybe in the daylight tomorrow I'll be able to see it. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute, I can see something. This looks like a carver hall knife here. Yeah. Well, it is a carver hall. That's probably what this one here is, too, then. Yeah, all carver halls. Like a long slicer. A small, boot, I mean, a small chef's knife. And a long slicer. They had some. I don't know what they've been sharpening them with. A through, but look at, look at the. Way the metal's been pulled off of it, in waves and stuff. Some of them machines really do bad things to them. This was not too bad. This looks like it's been used. The pull-through sharpener's been used on it. That's what it looks like. It's pretty sharp. This one, this one looks like it had. Some of this medicine that this one had. And that's it. So I got four more to do for tomorrow. Stand by. Well, it's a shade after 10. Thursday, beautiful day. Gonna be in the 80s, late high 70s or low 80s today. Just right for spinning. I'm on my way to Langley Nassi, NASA base right now to sharpen another paper cutter. And then I've got to drop off those scissors. And then I've got to drop off some restaurant knives. I should make the spin with no problem. We'll have to see how that goes. Stand by. There's a big warship sea bound as I come through the tunnel. Looks like a destroyer. But what do I know? It's big. Well, it's Friday. A shade after two. I've been sharpening knives continuously for an hour and a half. I picked these up, you know, the other day. I just got four more from a lady. Chicago Cutleries, I think. They're old, so there's no marks on them. I just about got them. Well, I've been polishing them up. They had lots of scrapes and stuff in them. Let's see what else I got to share with you. You've seen these Japanese Carver Halls. I got something inside a package I need to show you, but I can't go inside right now because I'm too busy. Oh yeah, I got one more knife. I got one knife this morning from a fellow who works in a restaurant. He brought it by to me. Oh, he met me at the gas station up there where I was taking some knives back. That's the only knife he's got. I got a fellow on the way with five or six knives. He wants me to sharpen and I got to restore them, he says. I don't know what they're going to look like, but in ten minutes he'll be here. So stand by, we'll know more. This fella just came by. He's got a big long Victorinox slicer. He's got another Victorinox chef's knife. He's got an international heckle. And I've never seen one without a country on it, but this one has no country. Then he's got two 
Royal Allen Roberts. I see a lot of these in the thrift stores. Stainless Japan. It can't be too bad. Same thing. Sister. Slicer. And then, and then, he got these from his great-grandfather, I mean his grandfather, I think. A big, long, serrated, wide, scalloped, I presume, bread knife. And it's got, uh, I thought it had some kind of name right there, but I don't see anything on it. Might have something when I clean it up. I'll give you before and after on this baby. And then he had a nice old cleaver. Not a very big cleaver. And this got Regent, Sheffield, something, something. I can see carbon. I don't think it's too old. I think it's just had a rough life. Okay, stand by. Well, let's get to this package that we got yesterday. I can tell you what's inside is big and red. and yellow. I got it from my buddy Jason. Jason's the fellow I sold my waterproof SE Pro to in South Carolina. Stand by. Ooh, baby. I told you it was big and red. Some kind of whacker thing. Pretty cool. We'll get her cleaned up, kind of restored and sharp. Send her back to it. Now the other thing, Max, thanks for selling me your SE Pro. I'm sure you know what to do with these. Upstate Diggers is YouTube name. Upstate Digger, Jason. And the other things he's referring to are these fine yellow taquitos. Mmm. Mmm. They will get you good use. Thank you, Mr. Jason. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Good luck with that pro. Sometimes I wish I had it back. Stand by. Well, it's Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day. Shade before 7. I'm getting ready to go to the knife gig. Big old Jack. The Terra. Indian. You're Indian. Aren't you? <laughs> well, I guess we're all here. It's kind of bleak on that side. I think one more could show up. The two vegetable guys, chicken lady, bread and pies. The leader. First customer has got two nice saboteurs. The lice. Something, something, something. First I've seen of these, but I like them. Nice handles. Kind of look like shuns a little bit. Really nice, nice. Cool. They're dull, though. My God. So I might slow today. Two knives I showed you, and now i got two pairs of scissors. Scissors, scissors, and I guess grass. Bush trimmer, some kind of scissors. Well, things were starting to get bleak, and then all of a sudden, bingo. We got a buck. Nine, 194. And I got another buck. Says Acona. Acuna. And I got a Skinner, a uh, National Wildlife Turkey Federation Shrade. Mmm. And an old Camulus. Look at that baby. Got a wolf barking at the moon on it. Kind of needs buffing up a little bit too to get that brass back. And here we got a, uh, I've never seen one of these taquitos. Made in Spain. Got an elephant on it. I can't make it out. It says U D E M O N, I think. Some kind of bone handle on it. Pretty nice knife. Bench made. 
Bill Pardue. Protect. And, and another one of these shreds, 152. One of them old ones. I'm waiting for the guy to come over and pick his up from uh, the other day. I got two of them. How about that? Exact same thing. Unusual. Okay, I got to go to work. Stand by. It's a funny place around here. Now I got a cut code. Looks like a Wustoff or an ankle. I can't tell you. Wait a minute. There's a, a ankle. I don't know what this taquito here is. David Burke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another international ankle. No. No, regular ankle. I think this is uh, China. China. More China. Well, we got action. Stand by. Now, this taquito right here. We got these as good as they're going to get. I got to wipe them off. But they turn out nice, as you'll see in a better picture. Stand by. Yep, there it is, initially. Now we got to go sharpening it. It's a big bad boy. There it is. All finished up. I don't know what Jason's planning on cutting with that bad boy. She's ready. Put some paint on it tomorrow. Some spray paint. Black black spray paint maybe red I don't think I got it red but I may have we'll see how it goes I don't know if I did this already or not but if I did we just do it in again I'll, I'll try to knock it out if I didn't do it Done. All cleaned up. All polished up. All sharp. Like little mirrors, so to speak. That's a shade after three. Beautiful day. What do you want? What do you want? Go on out there then. Bowhead's coming out after you. Come on, Bowhead! Yeah, here comes Bowhead. Come on! <laughs> Them two are getting to be tight buddies now. Look at them, alligator. I thought I was done with knives for the day. I dropped off those last knives, and the lady left a check in the mailbox and left three more knives. I don't know what's in here. Take a peek. It's like a Mercer on them uh, culinary knives. High carbon stainless. Not too bad a shape. Some kind of white looking uh oh, update. Update. I know what update is. Stand by. Some updates in those restaurant knives that I use for my uh, tri weekly rentals. Buck a boner. And she's dull. And the other one is a little cool ticket. Connoisseur, Dexter Russell, 
Looks like to me that in her day, she was a bit larger. You can see the uh, Dexter Russell is just barely, the, the Russell part's readable, but the Dexter's getting wore away. But it doesn't look like it's been sharpened all that much. But boy, does it ever need to be sharpened. Okay, I got small job for tomorrow. Other dogs bark in the neighborhood, she, she barks. <laughs> she can go now, buddy. She can intercept them balls Jack can't even see. You're getting lazy, Jack. <laughs> hey, what are you barking at, Indian? You better watch out, Jack. Get that ball. You don't like it already, you got the ball. Jack don't play fair sometimes. You know that, don't you? You mess with the bull, you get the horn. You need to remember that. What are you looking at?